name is Lauren Harvey and I am an employee at the Dearborn Historical Museum. Because our April Children's event had to be canceled, we wanted to bring our event to you over the internet. We want April to become Make It Move Month, and each week we will be releasing a video to teach kids about Henry Ford and his super cool inventions. We will be using this book, Henry Ford for Kids, by Ronald A. Rice. Henry Ford was born on July 30th, 1863, right here in Dearborn. He grew up on a farm, and even as a kid, he liked to tinker with mechanical toys. When he was 17, he moved to Detroit and became an apprentice at a machine shop. In September 1891, he took an engineering job at the Edison Illuminating Company, the perfect place for him to learn everything he could about electricity and mechanics. Today we are going to be making gears using materials that are easily available at home. A gear is a wheel with teeth that mesh together with other gears to speed up and slow down motion. Mechanical engineers use gears when they design and build machines. Gears have many important jobs, including transmitting, rotary motion, and power. You use gears in everyday life. Gears can be found in many objects, including on bicycles, in toys and in clocks. Henry Ford used gears when he invented the Model T. The Model T is important because it was the first car that was affordable for everyone to own, not just the wealthy. It was sold by the Ford Motor Company from 1908 to 1927. Even today, every time you ride in a car, you're using gears. Cars have multiple gears that change the speed or force. Now that we've learned a little bit about Henry Ford, let's get into our very first STEM project.
finished product. We've made gears. We can move our gears different directions to see how they interact with each other. Don't worry if your gears aren't perfect. Scientists rarely get their inventions perfect on the first try. Thank you for joining us today in creating the STEM project. Join us next Tuesday, April 14th, for our next Make and Move video.